Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it on the fun puzzler, Don't Touch This Button. This was developed by Nine Eyes Game Studio, published by Rattleiter Games, released on 24th of September 2021, and is available to you for just $4.99, usually but is on sale right now for $3.99. Now this was a great fun game, we wake up basically as if Sawface from Saw captured us, sawed off our, well whatever you want him to saw off, and we have to go through a lot of rooms solving increasingly more difficult puzzles to win the ting. Obviously it's not as Saw related, it's a lot more funner than that one, thank god. But spikes, codes, falls, invisible bridges, cubes, vases, death, death and more death are on your way. And for once, it's not a complete the level 5 to get the full 1k, you actually have to finish the game. How mad is that? Now, achievements-wise, they are easy enough, though. A few missables for falling and dying from spikes, etc. But very easy, and the rest are for general progression in the game. Now, you're looking at around 25 to 30 minutes to complete this. So, with that being said, then, let us begin. Now, one thing I should mention to you is about the invert. Um, basically, it, it, it starts off with no invert, whereas if you look down, it goes up and vice versa, which I hate. That is a horrible thing. But this is basically a tutorial level, so you press the left bumper to run, left stick and right stick to move and move the camera, right bumper to jump, and then use the A button, or, uh, well, it'll be cross or X on PlayStation. There you go, let's just invert the camera there. Yeah, that's better. Stinking ting. And this is what we have to do then. So as we get into room two, there are 66 rooms, by the way, that we need to do. So if you head to the right, all the way to the right again, press the A button here on this... Um, button and that's this room done so jump onto the spikes press the button and die a deadly death get a spike up that <coughs> anus of yours i bet that pinches a bit in the morning anyway head around to the gap and don't worry about the sort of red that just happened there that basically means that the um, room is done so head over to the right it's going to tell you to press the left button but obviously we're not going to do that we're going to press the right button because pressing the left one means instantaneous deathness. We're not going to press any button this time. Instead, we're going to head to the right. And just in the corner, hidden away, is the loveliest of buttons. Hmm. Oh, button. So, moving on, we have to find the correct one, uh, the correct button. And it is in the middle row, the second button there, just on the left. And moving on again, we just basically have to do the same thing. And it is in the uh, bottom left corner. And we shall move on. Already on number seven, that's nice. But it's the same thing in this area. If you go directly to the right, it is just at the sort of bottom of the spikes right there. So that is that one then. And we're gonna have to do this one one more time. If we head to the right, again, it's in the middle row. There it is, so the middle row, the rightmost one there. And that's it for spiky ass spike boys. No need to get your hizzy in a twist. Right, don't follow the arrows. Go the opposite way of the arrows always. Otherwise, that means instant um, spike in the ass death. And again, nobody likes a spike in the ass anyway. Don't like anything in the ass anyway. But anyway, <laughs> that one's done. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Moving on. What we need to do is, there's a bunch of vases in this room. Just pick up the cube with the A button. Throw it with the X button. And that will be that. We'll be doing these for quite the next few rooms. So smash the four vases. And there's basically going to be a hidden button. You can probably see the gap in the ceiling already there. And life will be fantastic. Oh, what a throw. Better than Conor McGregor the other day. Did anyone see that? Conor McGregor trying to throw a pitch on the baseball field. What a toss. Oh, I'm not going to say loser because he's going to come kick my ass. Anyway, in this room, grab the cube on the left. Smash the vases again. And there we go. Pick it up. Now what we have to do as well, after we smash these vases, basically this is for mainly an achievement, these vases for smashing 25. But what we need to do now is throw these cubes on the pads that say no on them. So it doesn't actually matter if you miss it, it's as long as it's sort of over the pad or gets past the pad or whatever. Um, but as long as you throw it on the ones that say no, so grab the other cube from down by the gate. The one that says yes will mean instantaneous death. Luckily not spike bum death. Thank God for that. And then we can move on. So, into room 13 then. This is basically the same thing. So grab the Cuban Puban. Throw them on the green looking pad things. And life is good. Stick the button on and you're good.
So then it's the same sort of thing in this room. We'll, hey, don't tell me what to do. Don't push my mustache. So again, it's the cubes on the green pad. Basically, there's only three cubes this time, but that's fine. As soon as you use the cubes to smash the vases and throw it on the one green pad, you stand on the other one, and that is what will open the door. The, open the gate, get the button, go to the next room. This one is incredibly difficult. All we've got to do is pick up one of the cubes, smash the two vases again. We're going to be smashing every vase in every room just to get the achievement out of the way quicker. And then this is the difficult bit. Grab the cube and you've got to place it in the holes in the wall. That might take at least one try. So, you know, good luck to you. <laughs> no, just fill the cubes in the holes in the wall and that'll open up the gate. Push the button, move on. Now for this room then, when we get there, just head directly to the right. I should get another achievement for Community Level 15. Head to the right, there's a hole in the wall. Grab the Cuban Puban. And again, smash all the vases and we should then be good to go. So smashity smash smash. Quite expensive. Expensive looking vases. Who's, who's paying for all this? As long as it's not me because I have no money. No money. Vandal! Well, I'm sorry, It's it's got to be so much fun. Looks like one of those angry smash rooms. You know where they put an angry person in, you can just smash it up? Yeah, my favourite kind of room. Anyway, grab the cube there from the right-hand side, and then you can just throw it straight through to the gate, and push the button. Now, you can move on. If you haven't got the achievement for destroying 25 vases yet, um, I would just highly recommend going around and smashing the rest of these vases. They don't actually serve any purpose to going through to the next room. Um, this is mainly, again, just in case you don't have that Vandal achievement yet. Which, obviously, we just have done, so now we are good to go. On to room 18, go immediately to the left. Don't worry about the spikes, but on the right there is a switch. Smash that one open, turn around, push the button, and exit, exit, exit out the exit hole. Now, coming up to a few rooms with these switches, and we've got to pull them in a particular order. So, for these ones, pull the fourth switch, and then the first switch. So, it'll always be from left to right, one to four. And then, go to the back, don't worry about the spikes, interact with the switch, push the button, telling you to not push my buttons, baby. Me, 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 me. Because I'm super cool at singing. Right then, so it's the same thing, it's going to be this way for the next couple of rooms, so with these switches then, if we interact with the first one, so number one, number three, and number four, and then go down to spiky land there, just on the left, and open up the button, oh, there it is, I'm losing my own head here I right hear. Okay, that should be good now, we can now move on to level 20 unos. See, my Spanish is excellent there. Right, same thing again, so with the switches, this time basically that is where if you need it hidden, so number one and number three, and then um, go uh, interact with the, the switch spikes, sorry, losing my own head a bit here, and then interact with the button and move on, so yeah, if you wanted to know where the location was, they normally just up in the roof in a little box. So this time we're just copying the vases that are right there, so it's going to be one, two, and four. And interact with the switch there on the spikes. And that is going to be the gate open. Push the button. Move on. So after all that death and spike and, you know, getting anally castrated by everything, we now just need to wait until the door opens or the gate opens there. It tells us to hurry up, but we're just going to chill. We're going to have a relaxed old rancho time. Tell me your favourite Simpsons episode. What's your favourite South Park episode? Tell me. It's a nice... Uh... Oh, never mind. Got no time for that. So, as soon as the gate opens, push the button, and then we're going into the next room. 
This time, there is a switch on the left-hand side, just behind the vase right there, so interact with that switch. Open up your buttons, baby. Oh, wait, no, that's... <laughs> wow, that sounded wrong, sorry. Open up the button, open up the door. Right, now we've got to press the A button there to interact and push this big block. So what we need to do is push it all the way down until we get to this hole in the ceiling there just by the monitor. So jump up and give that a good whack with your old noggin. Get your head, stick your head on that scent. Okay, into the next one. This time what we need to do is just go all the way to the left and all the way around to the left. Push the box out of the way, push the button and that is this one done. Now for this one, there are windows, open windows. We just need to push the blocks to the open windows right there. That is what will open up the gate. The windows are fairly obvious, the little diamonds in the wall. Nice, cheesy, lemon squeezy. So this time, you, there's vases on the left, as you can see, you just need to basically copy the exact same pattern with the blocks that are the same as the vases right there. So again, push it, push them sort of against the wall-ish, but not too far, and then they, again, just copy the exact uh, vase pattern there. So not, yeah, again, none of these are really too difficult, apart from most of them, <laughs> apart from none of them. Right then, so for this one there are open windows in the ceiling, so all you've got to do is push the blocks underneath each uh, bit of window, and that is your gateway to heaven. Heaven. Right, with this next room then, basically, you can basically jump up, but there's only one position that we can do that after we get all of these blocks in a line and in a certain position. Now, it's... As you can see in the ceiling, there's a hole in the ceiling where the um, button is, so you just need to get them directly underneath that ceiling. So, put them exactly as I have here, sort of close-ish to the monitor, but you do need to push it back once. There we go. Make sure they're all in the line. Now you should be able to jump up just the once, bam, and then pr press the button and get your ass out. Now, in this next room, it says all the walls are real, which they're actually not. If we head to the left and then left again to this sort of front wall, eventually there is a little one with a button, little fake wall there with a button inside. So that is this one for the time being. So head to the left again, just jump straight down. That's going to get us another achievement called Fall, and that is obviously for falling. But if we head to the left top corner and then go left again, that is where the next button is. So I'll just show you where it is then, sort of the top right corner, and then we can gladly move on. Right, so with these ones, there are lasers, so we're going to press the button there, die from lasers. To get through this bit though, if you s go slightly to the left of where the button is, that'll be enough there to slap it open and get ourselves out of here. So I mean, lasers and spikes, my god, who made up these rooms? Goddamn sociopaths! Right, what we need to do now is basically block the lasers, because the button is right down the end, so move the blocks just in line with the lasers. You can move them up against the wall if you want to. I don't think they get through, but anyway, just, just do exactly as I've done. Um, as long as they're up against it. As you can see, job done. We can swiftly move on. Right then, for this one, we've now got to put the blocks... In. There's only three blocks and four laser holes. Hmm. So now we have to put them in such a position that they block all the lasers and we can sl slap ourselves straight through the middle. So put that first block down and then just this second block by the left hand side. Uh, we need to actually make it so it's uh, blocking and covering both sides of the laser holes and then push this last one up against the right hand side block so it's looking something like this. And then that should give us enough room and enough time to just squeeze our big chunky ass through and happy days. Moving on. Right, do not touch any of the buttons on the floor. That means instant death explosion. Jigsaw faces are real sociopath. 
Um, so you can just jump over them again pressing the R button. I kept getting confused with the A button and kept dying. Um, now for some reason sometimes the gate will open other times it won't. The first time it opened for me, the second time it didn't. So interact with both switches on opposite sides of the wall. And then that should now be enough to whap open the Cuban Huben, the old Cuban Flauben. Give that a throw. See you in hell, candy boys. And then we can move on. Right, fake lasers in this room, so press the button, go through it with absolute steroid incredible usage, and that is that one done. Nice and quick. Push the button here and then just turn around and wait until the lasers are finished. That would make robbing diamonds and stuff a lot easier if uh, lasers just stopped after a couple of seconds. But what do I know? I'm not a diamond thief. So this one, turn to the right, jump over the vases. That's fine. Press yield button. God, you've pushed a lot of buttons. Women do like that. I think. Anyway, head to the right when we're into the next room. Here is basically the code 3012. Um, obviously to save a bit of time, we're just going to go straight with the codes next time, so head to the back wall here, 3, 0, 1, and 2, and that'll open up the gate, and that'll open up the door, and that'll open up the gate, which will also open up the door, I forgot to, I don't know if I just mentioned that, so again, a lot of these next rooms are just a couple of, uh, excuse me, codes, so it's 0, 3, 1, 2, 0, 3, 1, 2, That'll open up the gate, which will open up the door, which will open up the other gate, which will open up the secondary door. Next! Head to the right, and the code this time is 0303. So if you want me to tell you that again, that is 0303. Congratulations on your lottery win. I wish. 111 million. Well, that'd be nice. Anyway, move on while I just uh, depress myself slightly there that I don't have 100 million... Uh, quid. Heading to the left room. Basically, this time we are counting how many vases are in the room to input the code. So, obviously, two vases equals put number two in. This one, we've got another two. So, two vases equals code number two. Head to the opposite side of the room. Eventually, when I <laughs> manage to go, how many vases in here, buddy? One. One buddy vase for you, buddy. And if we just head into the next room, we've got three, buddy. So choose numeros unos trios. Three in Spanish is trios, right? R yeah, close enough. <laughs> no, it's not, I know. Heading to the next left room. Again, we're doing three. Uh, basically, there are two rooms that you can't use the code, but you've just got to smash the vases. So head into the opposite room on the left-hand side to get the cube and to also put input the code number two. Pick up the cube, and in the next two rooms, all we've got to do is just smashy, smashy, grabby, grabby, and get our bun sacks out of there. Okay, we're starting to come up to the most entertaining section, so head to the left, and then into the right room. Obviously, try not to ha fall through the holes in the wall. Um, put this code to number three. And then, from this room, we can just head all the way to the left, hand side, all the way to the sort of opposite. Once here, go to the left, right bumper to jump over the hole in the wall floor, and then put the code one. Jump over here, go into the next room directly opposite where we are. Again, try not to fall, that means death. We've, we've deathed enough times. Put in the code number two, and that will be enough to open up the button. Get a bun sack through the door. Nextly, let us go to the left. We're going to input yet another code. And this time it's going to be three, zero, two, and one. Three, zero, two, one. Delicious looking stuff. Push your button. A lot of buttons are being pushed. Man, we are a goddamn charmer. Lol, just joking. We uh, got lucky. So anyway, head to the right and around, and there's basically a crack. Jump on this crack a couple of times. Make sure you've jumped on the button as well. And, uh, well, you know, that's what skinny men like, for some reason. Like being jumped on. Anyway, there's a crack in the left. 
the sort of leftmost one at the bottom, jump on that one again a few times, and again, make sure to jump on the button so that the door will actually open. You know, I do figure that out in just a few seconds. There we go. So, just make sure that's opened. Again, instant death if you jump on any of the other crackle holes. Right. Now we are coming up to our what's called minions. So, basically, pick up a cube. Go to this right back one. And then it's kind of like a monitor, computer screen. And just smash him up. Chuck the rest of the cubes down, and that's job done. Now, those minions remind me more of um, kind of like Windows 8 computer screens. You know, those Windows 8 screens and computers that are being left behind because Windows 10 and the new Windows are much better. So we're going to be calling them Windows 8 uh, computers from now on just because they look angry. You get the gist. The joke is there somewhere. It's not a very good one, but who, I didn't say it was. Right, so, a bit confused. All we got to do, there is one open window on the left-hand side. Throw all the cube and pubin out of them, and that is what gets us through to the next room. And so for the next room then, if we head to the top and then to the left, you can see a secret, uh, it's like a secret floor behind the wall. Press the button, that's what gets us through. And then, so this is everyone's favourite part of the game, annoyance, invisible bridges and lots of falling. So, jump straight across and then jump straight across again and pick up the cube. Again, ignore the writing from smallest to largest. They're talking about my wiener size. It's awful. And if we just head to the right now, we can see a minion, which is just behind this wall here. So chuck that Windows 8 computer screen down. You are better than Windows 8, my friends. Turn the code to 1 and then go down and then turn this code to 2, 3. Sorry, 3, not 2. <laughs> right, and then we can basically head back and over to the other side to these next... Um, code inputters. So the one on the right is number two, and that will be enough there to open up the switch, open up the door, open up the gate, and open up the switch door. So we're going to see a lot of these platforms. Basically, you can only step on these platforms once, so it's one of those that you kind of need to plan your route a little bit. Uh, this one's obviously fine, but it does get a little bit more difficult. Get the switch done on the left-hand side. Obviously, we've got a couple of routes we can't pick, so just go straight through the middle or the left, whichever the hell one you want, really. It makes not a lick but of difference. Down the other side, choose the uh, press the button there, and get your ass through to level 53. 13 levels left to go. Right then, again, this is another one where we've just got to obviously plan our route, so we're going to go sort of from the right and then go all the way around, uh, interacting and pressing with each switch on the way, so don't use any of the middle platforms for now, just the ones on the outside, and that's golden nuggets for us. So for this room then, if we head to the right, again, try and go a, a little bit carefully on these platforms. It's not too bad though if you don't. And input the codes 3313. Want me to tell you again? 3313. Want me to tell you a third time? 3313, damn it. Okay, hopefully you got that and I didn't just take the piss and go over the top of it. Head to the opposite side, open up the button, sort of go to the left, you know, get it, get it, make yourself, make your life a little bit easier. And then just head through the door, level 55. Right, so for this one then, if we go head to the right, this is where the button is. And then what we're going to need to do is do a running jump. So left bumper to sprint, right bumper to jump, and job done, up into the next one. It's going to start getting into a visible bridge time soon. So for this one, we press the button on the right, and just go ahead straight through the next door. We've got the bridge up. Tidy, nice as hell. So, if we go all the way to the right, this is where the invisible bridge is. 
and then go to the left but it is the smaller of the gaps right there so just remember those two they're the only ones with bridges push the button and then go back across the exact same way not forgetting of course to pick up a cuban pube and throw it at the angry forgotten and lonely windows 8 computer screen so that should be the third one remember it's the bigger of the two gaps right at the very end here I kept forgetting and ended up getting quite slightly pissed off with it, but, you know, I'm just joking. Anyway, this is another invisible bridge section. This bit's fine, um, but as soon as we push the buttons, um, the bridges go a bit invisible. So just try and sort of stick it exactly where I do. So if we turn around, it's sort of more towards the left-hand vase there. And again, with this one, just slightly in the middle. That one's fine. This one should be fine too, sort of in the middle. But stick with the left, more left. And that is how we get over that side onto room 59 -ios. Now, just jump up. We have to jump on specific TVs there. So, on the left-hand side, it's very dangerous here. Better to get around and jump to the other side. Same with this one. It's very dangerous here. Go to the left side. I will fall and over to the next one. That is good. Press the button. Make sure to pick up the cube on the right-hand side of you. We're getting another angry Windows 8 computer screen. Go to the right this time on the TV screens. Jump over, and then if we turn around, that is where another Windows 8 pissed off screen is at. Right, so then, on to the final six levels. God, we are getting through this. We get another achievement. We head all the way around to the left. We get another cube. Of course, this is going to come in handy because there is another Windows 8 screen. So throw it just behind this wall right here. And that is the final pissed off Windows 8 screen. He's all happy. But if we fall, we go next to this button and then fall again, we go back on to the other side. So that is bang tidy. Go through then to level 61. Button is a button, now is it? No, it's not. We're not gonna be pushing buttons. So what you need to do, I don't actually know if you have to interact with these specific vases to get to the other side, but I ended up just uh, pressing the A button on every vase again. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but the one we need is the one in the top left-hand corner. So there's that one done. Button is a button. You can sag my button, Com interact with the monitor, turn it off, go into the next one. Do not press the Y button, except that's exactly what we're going to do. So press the Y button or triangle on the PlayStation, and that gets us through to the next room. And we can go straight through the door, and this is basically the boss. Now, when he starts going the fan, just um, keep moving up. And then as soon as the fan stops, move over to the platforms, and then we're just going to press the buttons. So what I do is just press the button, wait until he starts fanning us. Thank you, we've had hard work. We need to be cooled down. And then again, as soon as he stops, just jump over to the next platform uh, the gray platform and then push the next button um, that's just the easiest way to do this boss no need to rush and if we just head over to the next platform right there it is as easy and cheesy as pickling a cream pie out of your face so when he stops fanning then again obviously with these platforms just try and be a little bit careful but you should have enough platforms and enough room to maneuver and jump so, as soon as he stops cooling us down, it's very nice of you, you angry Windows 8 screen. Over to the next one, and then we've just got one more left to do. And then that is good. And go over to the next one then, and there we go. So, that is the game complete as soon as... By the way, you've got to spend two minutes on one level. That's what I just unlocked. You might have already got it or not. Interact with this big, giant green button, and that will be the end of the game. So, <laughs> there we go then, guys and gals. So again, if you do need that other achievement as well for spending two minutes on the level, make sure to do that. But uh, thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game, and hopefully the guide helped as well. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well if you thought it was useful. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, and everyone who interacts with me regardless. I absolutely appreciate it. That is that then, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next one. Ba 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 big love.